what a tremendous, tremendous turnout. This is a room filled with smart, talented, committed people who happen to be women. It is a tremendous accomplishment that you've achieved, but it's only the beginning of where we have to go. And hearken the voices of those brave and audacious women who are so far ahead of their time, but they never gave up. They never gave up. We are part of that DNA. That's who we are as New York State women. That is what we should be talking about today and pushing forward until we can finally say at the end of our days, we made a difference. And now more than at almost any other time in recent history, it is so important that we, as women, that we are engaged and we're fighting back against the forces that seek to tear us down. We need to stand in the gap and we need to represent and let all little girls know that they can be anything that they want to be. My father's last words to me, which I have tattooed right on my arms here, it says, let no one steal your dreams. And uh, I think that's very, very important and all the other things are very secondary. So whatever your dream as a person is, you have to believe in yourself and fight for it. And that's very important. And we begin to practice the art of creating space for ourselves. Space to think, space to breathe, space between our thoughts and our reactions, space to listen. When we did issues around women's issues, I think that the, the conversations that I used to have with my grandmother continued to stay with me because she said that women need women as friends. And they need friends, but they need women as friends because like it or not, the women are gonna tell you the truth but be there to hold you when the truth gets to be too much.